Hello, and welcome to Shamrock Talk, the internet's number one mother-son Celtics podcast. I'm your host, Jake Golan, here once again with my mother, Karen Olin. Hello. Recording this the about midday, uh, Thursday, April 25th, day after Celtics game two loss at home to the Miami Heat. Um. Yeah, I mean, we we asked for more to talk about. We have more to talk <laughs> about. Uh, where where do you want to start with this one? Um, first, before we trash anything on the Celtics, I'd like to say that the Heat are my favorite team to watch. If they weren't playing the <laughs> Celtics, they are oh my, my favorite team to watch. He is a Spolster is the best coach, the Easily. best coach. He takes medium level talent and turns them into the grittiest, hardworking players I have ever seen. I mean, yeah. I, I am I am such a girl fan. That's all I have to say. Is <laughs> they they just are really really impressive overall. Um, so. Yeah, and I Maybe and I, I I know I've recommended this to you before, but you should you should listen to JJ Redick and LeBron's yes, podcast. Right one of the one I can't remember if it's I think it's episode two that uh, LeBron talks about the changes that Spolster made from his first season in Miami to the second when they lost the title to won the title and um some good insight there. He spent time with like Chip Kelly, the Oregon football coach and like learning the spread offense for football and yeah, it's crazy. He but is, he's unbelievable. He, yeah. And, and we'll go into it more in the podcast, but the things he does, he is so, and the thing about not having gigantic stars is that you can mold them and tell them exactly what to do. Yes, and they do correct. It, as yeah. opposed to having to, you know, work through egos and correct. people that are competing yeah. for MVP, he has, you know, good talent that he can tell them to do something and they look over to him all the time, all through the game. They have such respect for him at every moment in the game. It's, it's, it's extremely impressive um, what he's put I together. Agree. Um, And what is their podcast called? I know I should know this. Um, I don't, I'm trying to remember. I can now. look it up. Uh, I can look it yeah. up. So I'll just I love look up JJ, JJ Reddick, LeBron. Yeah. I like listening um, to him as, even as a broadcaster, he's, he's a great broadcaster. Yeah, he's apparently uh, interviewing for the Hornets head coach role. Yeah, he'd be good. Um, it's called Mind good. the Game. Mind, Mind the, the Game. game. All right, I'm listening to it. I, I like JJ. Um, yeah, it's all all the episodes. I haven't listened to the latest episode five, but the rest are all very good. Mind to the game, yeah. Um, all right. And you really have to, you really have to focus because it gets yeah. really into the weeds, but very good. Um, well, let's get back to the game. Okay. Uh, I'll say I hated our offense from the minute one minute the game started minute one. Like I, the, the first play of the game is uh drew holiday post isolation on Hawkes where he misses. Yeah, like well, it, it was uh, try. We're clearly trying to isolate certain players and get them in one-on-one, -on -one, which is just doesn't work for us ever. It was, how can we get Drew Holiday to post up on a smaller guy? Or how yeah. can we get Jalen Brown onto Tyler Hero and clear out the side? It's like, yeah, it's the amount of time how spent. We won game one. Yeah. I don't the understand. The amount of time spent on picking on Tyler Hero as a defender was, was yes. tiresome. Tiresome. We, just Let's run offense. Agreed. Yeah. Agreed. 100%. What are we doing? Actually, like, I'm going to say. Tyler Hero wasn't bad. He took some no. serious hits. <laughs> and there are times for that. There, serious hits. There are times yeah. when stuff's slowing down. They're figuring out where you want to. Um, yeah, yeah I, especially the only guy that should be posting, uh, uh, that should be kind of isolation in the post is Jason Tatum. That's the only mm -hmm. guy I want. He's the only guy yes. that can consistently score from that. Yes. position there's no because one else i don't even, care what the master i mean porzingis even, if he's got a tiny he guy cannot him, but, he did yeah but, he but was, even that i mean did we'll you get see, into him he was he him? was terrible did you see him fall down when tyler harrell was on him yes <laughs> like what <laughs> like, he is the wimpiest little flower i have ever uh, seen oh, i will times. defend him i will defend him at times because 
I thought at the beginning of the game, he tried to play tough. Mm -hmm. And a couple of times I thought he got massacred and there was no call. And then in the second half, he starts to flop and he starts getting calls. And it's like, okay, well, I like, like I can see this on TV that he is now flopping and now you're going to give him the call. So it's like, you know, I, I hate when the the flopping and it's obviously annoying, but if you're going to give them the call when they flop and not when I I think it's a foul, but they don't flop, like what, what do you, what do you want them to do? I mean, yeah. Well, it, essentially, we, I mean, it was funny because one of my things I wrote, gritty versus pretty. And when we play a pretty team that has an offense and they have a couple stars, we actually know how to play defense and we, we you know, kind of come together. But when we play gritty and, and that is this team who had, you know, how many players in no, no clear star except for Bam, really, right? No established yeah. player, really. Tyler somewhat, but he hasn't been playing well. Similar to the Orlando problem we had when they, we don't know where the scoring is going to come from when they play defense that is tough and touching us and sometimes kind of sneaky and dirty because the amount of arm wraps you counted through that game that, that Orlando did. I mean, I mean, Miami, they're so smart. They are so smart because we don't play well against those teams. We don't like yeah. being touched. We don't like being pushed. We like the games and we look good in the games when the refs are calling it tight and they haven't been calling it tight. And that I think is the big change that Spolstra made. Let's really push each individual. And I'm when I say push, I mean off the ball, watch them. Their hands are on, their arms yes. are wrapped, their butts are in, they're touching all the time. They're running into players, setting picks that are so illegal off the ball. It's kind of crazy. Yeah, um, it's ridiculous. It is crazy. They move. I mean, Bam, Bam sets a moving screen every play. Every I don't time. understand. And earlier I in the understand. season, how many times did those get called? All the time. And that's what yeah. we're used to. We're used to a non-gritty, non- but this And is... when I say when I say dirty, I don't mean dirty as in a bad word. I mean, they just push the refs and, and they, yeah. they are playing to a point where only when the refs start to call it, will they stop what they're doing? And they're smart. That's smart. Once yeah. the refs call it, I agree. you pull back. But the, the frustrating thing, again, for me with the referee thing is if you try to fight through the moving screen, they're not going to call it. If you flail your body, you might get that call. So it's like, yeah, the you plus, have yeah, like, yeah. can you just yeah. call the moving screen if it's a moving screen? I mean, and as soon as, yeah. the, you know, he moving screen and then, you know, you jump and put your arms up and fall to the ground. Oh, now it's a moving screen. It's like, just call it when it starts and then they can't set moving yeah. screen. Like, I mean, and it yeah. goes both ways. I mean, I'm not saying that, but yeah. it's just like yeah i, I, I don't I think we lost necessarily yeah i don't half. think we lost necessarily because they called it one way or the other no, right no, no, i think they kind of i thought they no. didn't no, i thought they didn't it call goes much. both ways it just frustrates <laughs> yeah, yeah. well that's what it frustrates me because uh like i said i thought it was physical first half and it was fine if you're gonna play physical yeah. play physical but when they start flopping don't start calling the flop calls like they, yeah. they don't call it you're encouraging yeah. the flopping which is yeah I and it wasn't just our it, team. It was them. They flop all the time. That's what I'm saying. But, <laughs> but you like just it. like, like, it's just annoying to me that I can tell, like, like yeah. I can tell well, on TV, that's a foul. That's foul. Whether they flop or not, I can see the yeah. plot. Like why do the refs call it when they flail around and not when they don't yeah. flail around? It's like, yeah. it's ridiculous. Yeah. Um. But yeah, no, that is not what lost us this game. No. Um. No. Like now, I said, Porz- Porzingis, you, you can't, you're not allowed to compliment Porzingis anymore, mom. You, you gave him his I props for it. game one. Yeah, I jinxed you, it the one time I terrible. give him props. And then he goes back to playing the way that I think he kind of plays. Like, I think he's a pansy. I think he is not strong. And I think he no. looks strong in that game. And they figured it out. I th- that's why I think Spolster is a genius. Put some pressure on Porzingis, poke him. Yeah. Foul him, flail him, you know, and it messes up his game. It truly does. And uh, especially he wasn't hitting the three because he was wide open with a few of those yeah. threes. I mean, and he wasn't hitting four. it. He only shot four, but yeah, one yeah. for nine from the yeah. field. Yeah. yeah. But, but but you also have to get smart and start using him as a decoy. Clearly, the game plan was if he gets the ball at the free throw line, we're going to rough him up and we're going to crash on him immediately and not let him, you know, work from that area. 
Yeah. But the, the, but then start, you know, fake it to him and then swing the ball the other way. Start making them crash early and then get it to another player. You have to be able to recognize that what their game plan is and adapt to that. Yeah. Um, and just start and using him as decoy, part of our cutting problem. him to the we, basket, getting him. We don't adapt. No. We just don't adapt. We don't change our game enough to make it, you know, it, it, we play the same same way and and that's the annoying thing for me is. well we don't play and, and Porzingis should have sometimes and it gets how worse many times when they degrade. collapse on him he should have passed it out more why yeah. is he like trying to make a move trying to make a move then three collapse on Correct. him and he either loses the ball he falls down or he takes kind of a bad shot an off-balance shot yes. he's gonna get the call well, and so, again it was said, only nine you know nine shots so he didn't do this a lot but he, our weapon suddenly disappeared, right? Because he was our weapon the first game. Yeah. And so now we don't have it. But as you said, he's also just so weak sometimes on some of these players. It's like, uh, you know, he gets like a Hawkes on him in the paint and ends up taking this kind of fall away jumper that he can get over Hawkes, but just dunk on the guy. Just put your Agreed. shoulder in and dunk Agreed. right on him and get to the yeah. basket and make a, or get a foul. Like, there's, you yeah. don't have to like do jump shoot over the guy every time like get to the basket sometimes yeah i don't think and if i had a bam we're, we're... i'd go at him every time every single time i'd go at him i would post but yeah. not every time but i'd post bam up and take him eh. and yeah, sometimes but, you get blocks and but, you know i don't know but that's what killed them in the first uh game because they did they tried that every time and no one else got going and you just it just slows them down too much to have that uh that bam kind of isolation yeah. offense the, yeah. we we basically in game one we were like we'll give that up and give nothing else up and that they, they it, yeah. that's not a winning strategy for them yeah and and let's give them credit they shot the three lights out like lights out correct i mean i, I mean, mean all of this all of our frustrations every, have to so be many. underlined Once, with yeah. the theme <laughs> that they could be 53 percent ridiculous and not just Tyler Hero, we finally kind of started covering him a little bit and he got tired. So he wasn't exactly shooting lights out. Then other people came up and started. No, I mean, he had 14 that. assists. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. Yeah. I mean, uh, you have to, yeah. All of, all of this talk has to be underlined with, they're probably not going to hit 23 threes and set a franchise record for the yeah. rest of the series, you'd hope. So um, I really, and, and even then yeah, that, they only had, you know, 111 points. The The biggest thing is we had 101. Yeah. That's like, not, yeah. Who, you know, who are you? Yeah. Who are you beating down the road? 101 points. Mm -hmm. I don't know. The Knicks are playing very gritty and, you know, very well. I'm not, a, I'm not we afraid speak. of the Knicks. I can't say that. I wasn't me. afraid of the heat. <laughs> and well, now course. I am. <laughs> yes. Am I I'm I'm still not. I'm still very confident and it's frustrating yeah. and but we're, we're going to come out of this. I mean, I, it would so be the an reason, absolute The reason disaster. I am and I'm hoping this changes. The reason I am afraid of the heat and like I said, it reminds me of our couple of losses to the Magic is no one on the Heat shot more than 13 shots. Nobody. Yeah. Bam, 13. Hakez, 13. Tyler Hero, 13. How does that happen? How many points did he have? And he had 13 shots. That's it. That's all he took. And they all played 30-something minutes. Bam played, played 39. Uh, you know, Caleb Martin had 12. Then you go to us. And again, Jalen Brown, 23. Jason Tatum, 20. And the problem with that in a team that plays really good defense is you know who to guard. You know who to double team. And you watch how they play. And you know exactly what their moves are. And that's mm -hmm. going to be, I think, potentially could be our downfall. Derek yeah. White had eight shots the entire game. And four of them came in the fourth quarter. That's That should never happen. Not when yeah. Porzingis is playing as poorly as he should. Where is he? You know, why isn't he being set up more? Why isn't he? And that's because Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown sometimes have the ball in their hands too much, too much. Agreed. But look, um, but but I just I just pulled up the game one box score. Tatum only has 18 shots. Brown 12, White 10, for Porzingis 13. Much, yes. much yes. eight for Al Horford. Six, much more even down the board. But that comes. So so I think I, I do think that he want Jalen Brown shooting a lot. I Agreed. think they do. I think that's part yeah. of their strategy. 
agree. Um, because it gets us when he has the ball, it gets us out of our offense. Yeah. Um, because he just doesn't flow like the rest of the guys do. He's more of kind of a one-on-one guy, which at times can kill teams. I mean, he killed the Heat at the end of the first half. Those three straight threes. I mean, that yeah. shifted yeah. the momentum, which obviously didn't matter in the end, but um. He can he can really kill you at times, but they want him taking twenty three shots. I agree, and uh, I think they want Jason Tatum too. I do. I think I sometimes thought, they want thought, him to shoot the three more. I thought Tatum because... was fantastic again in the first half. I thought he was yes. so good. He had this pass to Hauser that I, yes. I've never seen him make. And that Hauser, Hauser ended missed. up missing. What? Yep. Yeah, Hauser but missed he, it, but it was a great. He immediately got the ball and instead of slowing down, immediately sees Hauser's open and immediately passes to him. Yes. And I was like, that's great. Fantastic. Yeah. Him and Hauser do have a connection now that yeah. he knows where Hauser's going to be and hits him yeah. in stride. And they, yeah. d- they do have a connection. And, and his and passing then, is better. His passing, yes. oh, I agree. I mean, this year, he's leaps a much better, better passer. Yes. yes. Yeah. But Jalen Brown, got to the not point, so much. Late, th- <laughs> late, late third quarter. Uh, where it's just Tatum one-on-one and it's mm-hmm. like, oh boy, here we go. And again, to be fair, I thought he got some good shots that he just missed. And it's yes. like, that's, it, yes. it's like. And some of them are right at the hoop. We're not talking yes. three-point shots. Exactly. You know, we're talking right at he the hoop. He just gets there and missed. And a couple yeah. of those, to be fair, again, I thought he got back on. on. And he doesn't, yes. you know, yeah. fl- flail yeah. and fall down as much. He goes strong to yeah. the hoop, yeah. which I think, again, yeah. sometimes is a detriment to yeah. getting those calls, which. It's yeah, frustrating. Yeah. And I will say on the other end, near the end, we were a little more desperate and I thought they had a few fouls. That were yeah. Fouls. Oh, yeah, <laughs> like, yeah. That was a very, very physical game. But yes, I yeah. agree. He goes to the hoop and he at minimum sometimes has three people on him. Three yeah. people <laughs> on him. So I agree. Like yeah. that, like at the yeah. end. The, the, I think he played uh, a pretty that... good game. What? I, I do. I thought he played a pretty good game. Yeah, I, I agree. I, he missed, both I mean, he missed just good. some shots that really would yeah. have been clutched down the stretch that were frustrating. Yeah. And that's, you yeah. know, his his clutch time stats yeah. are rearing their head again, which sometimes are not ideal. Yeah. Um, but again, he's readable. That's the problem with he and Jalen Brown. You but know, in the first you half can, he was You know, you yeah. But in the, in I'm the just saying, half, in a close game in the, the end, right pass, you he's know, the right pass, he's going to the hoop or, you know, he's shooting and you are able as a yes. team to put two and three on him. You know that yes. like that's, I mean, that's kind of the problem with that is a smart this, team is always going to collapse on him. Yeah. Always going to. This brings me to one of my notes, mm-hmm. which is Derek White, especially down the stretch should bring up the ball every single time. He just 100%. makes the right play. There's no 100%. reason he is not bringing, and it, I know he scored some clutch buckets down the stretch. It's not even about that. It's about he makes the right play every time. If 100%. if if the right play is to get Tatum the ball on the block, he's going to get Tatum like that. He's going to yes. get there. Yes. He, I thought, a, even in the first half when we were yes. stuck in the mud and playing iso ball, his drives to the basket, not even to score, just to get movement, were what kind of unlocked our movement. And he's he should be that guy every he single should. time. He should be bringing down the ball most of the time. That Every I, time. I, I I agree with you 100%. Not just down the stretch. I mean the whole game. Why is he yes. not bringing the ball down? Why he is Jalen Brown your point guard. ever he should at be the your point? point guard. Why is Jalen Brown yeah. ever at the point? Agreed. Ever. Ever. Like that. I, I don't understand. Um, so there's just, yeah, some game. And I think that's Missoula and the egos. I really do. I think either that or he's just Agreed. not a very good coach. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> no, I, I'm questioning at this point. I, I, too. I'm like, why is Jalen Brown ever in a close game taking the ball down? If anyone yeah. ever trips or gets the ball picked off or makes a bad pass, it's him, right? I mean, he's got a high percentage down the road and he just should never have the ball be, yeah. you know, I, or rarely anyway, rarely. Um, Every all, all of our starters had more than one turnover except Derek White, who only had one. Um, I, I didn't see enough Derek White, and I know he hit down the stretch. Who's to that's say? That's what I'm saying. It's not even games. about that. It's he's not had like, some games. You're right. He just makes the right play. I, yeah, I agree. He's, he's the guy guard. that's going to calm you down. He is a point guard. He's a point he guard. He should be the point guard. <laughs> yeah, There's no reason that yeah, he's not yeah, every time bringing yeah. the ball up. Um, he and that gets frees, you in your offense, like, and it frees Jason Tatum up against the Heat. Correct. Jason Tatum is very rarely going to drive 
from the top of the key against the team like the Heat and get a good shot off in the Yeah, lane. they're going to know. They're going to crash. Not. There's going to be three guys not. on them. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That's the point. So the point, yeah, to open Jason Tatum up a little more, a little yeah. more ball movement, a little more, yeah. Not nearly enough for Zingas, Derek White pick and rolls either. That was a money yeah, play yeah. for us all year. But Six was off. I almost thought he was yes. injured. Didn't it? Something wasn't right about how he moved with the ball. How I he, just I think don't know. he had an off game. I don't, I don't, I and you do watch them. Injury. They are pokey Concerned. off the ball. They are really yeah. pokey off oh, the ball. Oh, they were handsy they for sure, yeah. Watch how many times they actually wrap arms. You got to watch yeah. that this next game. I mean, literally, they have their arms wrapped around people, and then they'll yeah. you know, flail. Well, my and favorite is and... Tatum goes to the basket at the end of the third quarter, and they call the foul. Um, yeah. And the, the like the heat are complaining and Hawkes is complaining and you watch the replay. Hockey just slaps his arm. Yeah. Like hundred yeah, percent. Uh, yeah. He, and they hadn't like, been calling like, that. I mean, I think just... that's probably their complaint is very rarely were yeah, fouls but... called. Why can't we just yeah. slap everybody? But if his <laughs> arm is up and you just slap the arm and miss the ball, yeah. it's like, um, yeah. that's like day one foul call. Like you can't yeah. slap the arm as he's shooting. <laughs> uh, yeah, agreed. But yeah, I have one other just... complaint. Drew Holiday shooting was horrendous yes. for 12 shots. He's just in the moments that he gets to the hoop and he's so close. Like he is a good post up player. He, yeah. he always, always he gets that shot up. Yeah. He does not use the backboard in any way. He does not. <laughs> and it's true. like, he does not use the backboard. And so, what is the percentage that's going to go in and you see the percentage that goes in so for some reason he's got to get better he's great down there it's just not a solid gonna go in shot you know he for 12 shots he was 34 for for 12 one for four from three he just i uh nine points and i just we need in this type of game and that type of star we need a little bit more from there's just no world where he should be taking four more shots than Derek white Agreed. Agreed. That should 100%. absolutely never happen. I mean, agreed. Agreed. Yeah. Um, and and yeah, granted, and, and I half will, of I, and half of White's shots were in the fourth quarter. Like he, I, will, I mean, yeah, I will. I will say for Drew, he is a little displaced. Again, we talk point guard. I mean, Drew Holiday's a point guard. How many times does he bring the ball up and act like a point guard? Not that many, right? I mean, yeah, last game yeah. I thought Tatum took it up almost. Almost every time we were settled, um, or many Especially times when we were half. settled, and it's just like you know, as the point guard, I do think that's difficult, and you try still trying to figure out where you're going to play and what you're going to play, mm-hmm. with, you know, this type of. Um, we should have been over this struggle by now. We really should. I mean, <laughs> I I made a note. I'm like, Timberwolves look really good. Nuggets look good. Obviously, yeah. still good. I mean, I hate to think of what we would look like right now with this offense and our mentality, what we would look like against them. There's no and way again, we, we are overreacting to one game, but um, I'm praying it just show all, all year. We just we can't have these games where it's like, yeah. what what is yeah. this team? Um, also, uh, another thing I wanted to bring up, uh, why is Hauser playing less minutes than Peyton Pritchard? I agree. I think I Peyton understand. showed off in the end. I agree. I agree. In the end of the regular uh, season, he had a great, but but yeah. nothing this series that you've seen so far yeah. tells you that that should be the case. Yeah. But it does um, tell you the type of game that we were playing because even 20 minutes, Peyton Pritchard played 19 minutes, 44 seconds, no shots, not one. Yeah. He's, he's yeah. been shooting pretty well. Not one shot, not one. F- like Four fouls. They're clearly kind of hunting him defensively too. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but, uh, but 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 Hauser's not like Hauser can guard almost anyone on the Heat. I mean, when he was out there, man. he was so good. He's I fantastic thought defensively. Was, yeah, he's a game. Really I good. think he was. I mean, he's a plus eight, which you know, so was Al and yeah. uh, Drew and Holiday's present was a plus ten. But he was one of our most two positive for, players. Two, two for, for four is yeah better than most better, of our guys. Better than most of us, yeah. Um, yeah. And he was four for six in the first game. I mean, I I I'd, I'd see no reason you don't put him out there yeah. more. I think he really changes the game for us when he's in there. I mean, I think he's been a really positive player. Agreed. Um, and we need to, that's another thing is we need to make sure that we stay in somewhat of a routine where you give people a rest. You know, you can't panic 
and leave Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum out there so long that they get tired, especially against the Heat, because they're working them hard. They work Jason Tatum really hard. So you yeah. just have to make sure. I mean, he played 41 minutes. Which is you just need to... more reason to get Derek White the ball. Just get Agreed. Derek White the ball. Why is he only taking five shots or eight, eight shots? Eight. And four of them were in our desperate time. This is yeah. not through the and game. He hit them I mean, all. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> exactly. Yeah. So um, yeah, he should be shooting more early in the game. Be, I, I think I don't even care pressure. about shooting. Just featured. Get him the ball yeah. and let him and run the offense. The right. Agreed. Uh, Agreed. That's just how it should be every single time. There's no reason yeah. he should not be taking the ball up every time he's in the game. And again, fourth quarter, <laughs> post game. Brown four, five points, Tatum four points. <laughs> Not good if that's those are the people we're defending. No. I mean, that's the other frustrating thing is the Heat were missing shots late and giving us yes. just opportunities and, and opportunities. And and and, and, and that's the, yes, yes, and that's the frustrating part for me. I mean, when a team shoots lights out, you know it's going to be a close game. You just do. I mean. They are a gritty, good but again, defensive team. That's a credit to the Celtics. They're shooting because 52%. when the Celtics shoot lights out, it's not going to be a close yeah. game. Yeah, <laughs> like it, it's over. You're done. If we shoot lights out, you're done. Yeah. So again, credit to the Celtics. Uh, again, people For are going to staying in it. People, yes, people are going to be yeah. frustrated because we lost to a team that we have no business losing to. But they shot fifty three percent from three, and it was close yeah. the whole way. It was never. Yeah. It was never a yeah. blowout game. I mean. So us um, on the defensive end, it, like you have to watch film and you have to watch how every single player, every Heat player takes those hits and stays in front of their guy. Yeah. Every single one plays aggressive, moves their feet. I, we rarely do that. <laughs> yeah. Like, I feel as though we rarely, you know, I, I don't know. It's just, I think the difference in defense is incredible. In in one on one defense, but but I think you know if we can get out of this, I mean, we should get out of this series. There's absolutely no reason that we should lose to the C team, but you you know how we respond is going to be big. Can Missoula? Yes. I mean, if it, if it's adjusts. a if it's a chess game with uh, Spolstra, he's going to lose. The, I mean, Spolstra's uh, uh, the best coach 100%. in the league. But, but can you hang in the game? Can you play a little chess with them? Can you, you know, you have yeah. the better players. Can you just, you have the advantage. You got the pieces. Can you at least put the pieces in position to where, um, you know, you look like you belong in the game? <laughs> yeah. Uh, yeah. And I think this is a, a big moment for that. And, and how do we, we make Caleb Martin look like a star all the time? Well, he is question. an all-time Celtics killer at this point. Unbelievable. How do we make what him look like on? a star? He's five because for it's... six from three. And what? he, I mean, he more than anyone took some tough ones where it's like, yeah. what? Yeah. He is yeah. turning into yeah. an all-time Celtics killer. I don't and know what is going on with that guy. his defense and his grittiness, he's just a hard, hard player. Yeah, and he, a, like, little, a little pokey dirty. What is it the Celtics? Yeah, yeah, I agree. I don't know. Is again, are we not playing one on one close enough and hard enough like they do? I felt as yeah. though down the stretch, not one of our shots was easy. I felt they yeah. like they had some easy shots, even three Caleb pointers. Martin, I this, didn't this feel as though we were was a thirty four percent, thirty almost thirty five percent three point shooter. Like yeah, five or yeah. six last. And night. again, they're not what? even home. They're not home. They're away. Yeah. They're on yeah. our court. That's the with thing. Our, losing and losing at home the... is brutal. And now I saw a stat on I saw a stat on Twitter today. I can't remember who said it, but um, we've only won back to back home games in two of our last eight series. Yeah, yeah. In this is exactly what happened we'll last keep time. Losing isn't it? at home. Yeah. Like, what is going on with this? Oh no! What 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 was the series last time? Didn't, didn't it was 3-0 heat, and then the we hole. came back 3-0. That's right. We dug ourselves tied up, out of the and then hole. we lost yeah, yeah, the last yeah, one yeah. at home again. Yes. But we yes. won on the road consistently. Yeah. So let's see. Um, I would love to take the next two. Yeah. That would be nice. I don't want it to be 2-2. Two to two. I don't want to give them any more momentum because I'll yeah. tell you right now. And I don't think it's going to be. I don't think Jimmy Butler is going to come back 100%. I don't think that's I don't, In fact, no, in he's fact, not coming back. He's gone. I he's think gone. if Jimmy Butler had played, we probably would have won. 
Wow. I, like, that, I, think that's it's a a completely, yeah. I think it's a completely different game when Jimmy Butler is in the in, yeah. in the game. No, I, I mean, I he's not coming back. You might get Terry Rozier back, but. Yeah. And even I him. That might mess neck, with them too. Neck. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I'm, they, uh, yeah. I thought they looked, I thought their ball movement was excellent. I thought they, I, I don't know. I thought, yeah. So. It'll be interesting. Yeah. I just don't want to give them any more momentum. And and you got to dig deep. Jason Tatum did a lot of talking off mic, ready to be here, ready to whatever. You guys need to start digging and, and mm-hmm. play a little more gritty and less I'm also, pretty. <laughs> I'm also annoyed because game five is on my flight back to Boston. So oh, no. Sweep yeah. would have been nice, and then I wouldn't have had yeah. to worry about it. And now I'm going to yeah. have to rewatch watch it, it after the flight. Yeah. Yeah, international too, so I won't get the TV. Yeah. Tough. That's um but in yeah, some ways, okay, out. be we let's be thankful that something like this happens now, right? Yeah. Let's see. Agreed. That's what I'm saying. If, if we come out of this, it we're could be... reminded we need to be better. We need to play yeah. harder. We, we need always to say pay this attention. and they never do. They never learn. That's the frustrating <laughs> Please part. learn. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No. Missoula, yeah. Hopefully he can adjust and hopefully they watch film That's and they say, hmm, look at what they're doing. Not just what yeah. we're doing. Look at what they're doing and let's figure this out. And again, well, hopefully Derek White says, hey, people, give me the fucking yeah. ball. I... <laughs> you think he'll say that? I don't think so. No, he's... but he should. I think he's <laughs> too nice. To say. Yes, I, I know. That's nice. the frustrating part. Yeah. Uh, raise your hand in the middle of the meeting. Excuse yeah. me. Um, I'm a point guard. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm supposed to be bringing the ball up and I can pass really well. <laughs> um, one other, w- w- one other observation um, that I wrote a note on uh, and, and, and again, to give the Celtics a little credit it does show their development. We kill the zone. Now they, the, the zone just, just doesn't yeah. work um, in, yeah. in, in past series that the heat zones have flustered us. Mm-hmm. No, that is no more. Whenever they go to zone, we just kill them and they have to yeah. switch back. So well, um, the problem is their man to man is good too. <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, ta- yes. And I'll tell you, I think a team that can go back and forth from man to Vince Bolster is a genius. A team yeah. that can really go back and forth between man to man and zone gets areas. They get, the, you know, they were pointing out last night, and it's true, they get, um, it, you know, who to watch with the ball, where to be. And let's face it, we're terrible. We're not backdoor cut people. You don't even have to worry about that. No. You don't even have to Although worry about Tatum, that. Tatum had a fantastic cut yes. that gave him that yes. dunk out of the slot yes. where yes. Horford Agreed. passed him the ball. That's a good. Uh, I just look at, yeah, looked really at your good. dad and said, why can't we do more of that? <laughs> right? But we rarely do that. That's something. Yeah. And that's kind of a shame because the team doesn't have to worry about that. They can pay a clear cut. Watch your area. No weird. I mean, they. Uh, I think their defense and where they are and how they play ninety percent of the time is phenomenal. Yeah. So when you can go back and forth between those two defenses, you, I, I just they do it so well. So yeah. Yep. So we're gonna just have to step up one in our defense, a little grittier, yeah. a little tougher, and we're not used to that. We don't take hits. <laughs> how many times? Other than Sam Hauser, Sam Hauser, impressive yeah. when he came in. Yeah. He takes a good hit. He to, really to does. Us, to give us some credit, the, the Celtics have come out of some dogfight series where it's it's in one. I mean, I mean, we yes. do have a pedigree, you know, some Sixers series where we took some punches and it yeah. was physical, and we've kind of come out of that. Um, so, 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 you know, we we are at times a little weak, but we we've come out of some physical series with wins. So, I'm not we saying we don't do have it. A- the, the ability to do it because yeah. we do Jalen Brown tough Jason Tatum's in great shape he's he's a tough guy when he wants he's to tough. defend I mean to, when yes. he to turns him credit, it up he is physical yeah. when he, he turns it up yeah he is good but you gotta I, yeah. turn it I think up. he's been good all series yeah. I mean that's the even more frustrating part is uh you'd like to see him shoot a little yeah. better um we, we also just have to discuss that Jalen Brown's free throws are a real problem now you can't play him. Was he? In... Oh, three to six. Yeah, three of six. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, Even but Jason Tatum I, missed two. They, but they showed a what? stat. They, they showed a stat that since like it, I think it's like since January nineteenth, he's a sixty-six percent free throw shooter. I um, told you my steroid theory. Yes, you did. 
I think but, his arm muscles are bigger, and I think his free throw shot is off. I do. I I, I think yeah. he is well, bigger than he has been. Off? I don't know. It's weird. Yeah, I don't know. I guess you practice those every day. I'm not sure. Yeah, but I but, do but, think but, there but, is but, something off about yeah. his free throw at this point because of his. Uh, yes, uh, I mean, uh, confer. I mean, the, <laughs> there is, but 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 in a close playoff game at the end of the game when the opponent misses a shot and he gets the rebound and he gets fouled, that's a problem. Like that is a yeah. like free throws in the playoffs are a big deal. You can't be. Yeah just now a 66 percent free throw shooter that's gonna that could that could come back to haunt us yeah agree nope i'm um, with you and and the superstar that has the ball and will get fouled more and beyond you know one of the superstars yeah, so he, yeah. agreed although again here we are complaining about him i mean jalen brown had 33 points yeah shot like, 50 56 percent jason tatum 10 of 20 50 yeah. percent but there are other aspects of the game and and misses that they had that we really needed. We we needed those shots and perhaps they shouldn't have taken them and the ball should have been moving more. Like you said, Derek White see the ball more, you know, but, and, and so there's some nuances to their games that they need to adjust. Yeah, I will say in terms of Tatum, I didn't mind a lot of his shot selection. He missed no, some no. shots. Yes. He missed some shots that you just want him to make and it's just frustrating because yeah. in the beginning of the game, he makes those shots and then... yeah. Yeah, but but remember, a going forward, him shooting one on three is probably considering you have Derek White, considering yeah. you have Porzingis, it might not be the best shot of the moment. So I, I think that mm. when you do that too much, they can sag on you, and and maybe you'll get the call. You're playing a tougher, rougher game now. Maybe you'll get the foul call. Maybe you won't get the foul call. But they're going to ensure that you don't make that, right? Uh, uh, you know, so I think sometimes, and his move is good. You know, I, I, I'm not saying he doesn't go to the hoop well. I'm just saying one on three is not always the best. Yeah, I agree. Know, the best shot. And by moving it, then you open yourself up. If Derek White takes more shots, if if Drew can make his shots, if yeah. you have more people, if Pritchard took a couple of shots in the game, Sam Hauser few more shots that alleviates the pressure yeah. on the two I still of think them those those minutes need to be flipped give me 20 for hauser and 15 for pritchard i mean i, think I, I, I really that. think hauser's been a game changer when he's in there yeah I, I they think have to guard him he, he spreads the floor and they have to sit right on him and because he yeah he'll kill you yeah no i i think you'll see that more I think he's just not as much of a playmaker as Pritchard is. And I think that that's what they value almost more than the three point shooting. And we, the we have plenty of playmaking. We need less playmaking. He, we need more passing and moving. I mean, well, that's what I mean. He, he passes well. I mean, if you watch him, like, he what, does get the ball. Yeah. He gets them moving. Well, why a do I feel like Pritchard's bringing up the ball more than Derek White? Oh, he shouldn't. I, I agree. Maybe, maybe I agree. that's maybe that's not true if you actually like yeah. counted Look the times. It. But yeah. in my head, it feels like Pritchard is bringing yeah. the ball up more than Derek White, which is just unacceptable. Before the fourth quarter, do you remember much of Derek White? That's what I'm saying. Oh, like, what is going on? I don't remember much of Derek White before I the know. fourth quarter, which is and a I mean, shame. he was a minus twenty three, <laughs> second worst to Porzingis, who's a minus thirty two. So it's yeah. not like he was making. Uh, well, again, there are moments when he's still defensively, he's not. You know, I don't care what anybody says, the shot blocking, his, his guy gets by him and he tries to block from behind. There are, yeah. are some defensive errors in how he plays at times <laughs> that, you know, he had no blocks or he had one block or whatever, you know, but a lot of times his guy got by him. I mean, so his, his one-on-one -on -one defense, I didn't think was quite as good as it should have been. Um, but anyway, I think bottom line is, I don't think it was just about Jason Tatum and Jalen Brown. I think the rest of the team, Drew has to shoot better. Yeah. <laughs> he has to, he's got to figure that out. Portzingis, non-existent, almost hurt us. He had a he few turnovers. Well, yeah. Oh, he, he was he non-existent. Was for sure. I don't even no, he remember. He was worse than a non-existent. He was a negative. Do you remember was... any rim protection ever happening? No. I didn't remember him up being up there. I mean, I mean, again, and the silver lining is here is that's the worst I've seen him as a Celtic. Yes. Like, yes. It doesn't yes. like, it can't get worse than that. He will, he'll have a big rebound game. I'm, I'm, I'd put and money you, on it. And you can say it was because he had three fouls. He had to sit. And then maybe in the second half, he was shy, a little bit shy. You could, you could start to say that, but then yeah. the fourth quarter, they're winning. 
where are you? He, where are yeah. you at the rim and and helping with rim protection? I don't care if he you only had two turnovers, point. but it felt worse. Anytime yes. he got the ball, yeah. it was like, oh, I think yeah. a couple of those turnovers might have been credited to the passer or whatever that was trying to get him yeah. the ball. But oof. Yeah. Yeah. Well, even the way we were feeding the ball was not normal. There were times when I thought the passes were weird to him. We've never fed mm-hmm. him like that. He's always gotten the ball throughout the season. If you go back, he's always gotten the ball up by the foul line. Almost always. He very rarely gets it down inside. And and rarely do we have a set defense where you alley-oop him the ball. We we don't do that with him. Like, it's yes. just, that's not normal. And so suddenly we're in a game where we're playing the not normal passes. Mm-hmm. You know, I didn't even see him. And, and it could be because Spolstra knew what we were doing. They collapsed on him a few times where they had, one in front of him and one behind him, Porzingis, um, and sort of messed up that foul line. So maybe they were trying something new, but this doesn't seem like the time to try something new. Not to me anyway. Correct. In a close yes. game where they're either with us or ahead of us most of the game. Yeah. You had plenty of meaningless games that we had this year to try <laughs> something new. <laughs> Figure this out. By now we should have figured this out. And again, yes. I credit Spolstra. He adjusted. And, yeah. Defensively and it worked. I mean. Yeah. Um. When when you said alley but also did remind me that Jalen Brown and Jason Tatum had the best fast break from those two that I've ever seen from them. It was like, almost like a drill. Like, yeah, they didn't I was dribble. Like, Wait, it was like a just drill, run like a perfect fast break, two on one. I've never <laughs> seen did. that. And I remember when I was younger, and we'd have that drill where you weren't allowed to dribble the ball, and you had yeah. to pass without traveling and pass back and forth and near the end. Yeah, that's they didn't what take one dribble. It was unbelievable. Nope. It's yeah, like, wait, yeah, it what? Was like, did, did it was like Jalen Brown and Jason yeah. Tatum just do that? And the pass was perfect. Yeah. Yeah. Playing with each I know. other. Yeah. It's like, yeah. wait, you guys were on the yeah. same page, like perfectly in a play. Yeah. Yeah. Game? Now take that back to the half court play. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> right? You know each other. That was perfect. You're running in sync. Half court play now. Bring that, bring that being in sync in. I mean, mm-hmm. again, those two do not play off each other well. <laughs> We've known that forever. They just yeah, they're not of course. Yeah. Offensively, they don't play off each other. Um, but anyway. Um, yep. yeah, I do remember that thinking they didn't dribble once. <laughs> that was like a drill. Um yeah. I think we've harped on this game enough. Did you have have did you watch anything else around the NBA this week? Uh, I did. I watched who did I watch? I like I said, the Timberwolves. I didn't watch any of them. I haven't seen any of that was, series. They look good. They look really good. Of course, they're home, so they look good, but they looked good. They're going to be, I think, tough. And I've never seen um, a, a team transform anybody like they have Rudy Gobert. He is now an offensive threat where he, you know, everybody said he's not good on offense. He's good on defense. And now they figured it out. They figured out how to use him. The passes, a few passes into him where the guard would draw and at either alley-oop or bounce pass to him and he would put it in. I mean, he just fits in so well. And I was always a Rudy Gobert. You knew this. I wanted Rudy Gobert. I, yeah. I was always a fan anyway. You're the Perfect one. Fit. I think you're the one Rudy Gobert defender that lives on this He doesn't area. have a great attitude. And you can see at times like his teammates didn't like, like he's a yeah, yeah, yeah. kind of, uh rude very he can be stereotypically rude. french almost he, he can be rude but i just love the way he moves i love the way he plays defense and now they've turned him into an offensive player an offensive threat as well yeah and again they have so many it's not like he's the only one but i just think it's impressive how yeah. they've worked with him and how he, well he fits in yeah and they, they figured I out mean, with carl anthony they turned, towns i mean again we're making the chris finch coach of the year candidacy but they've turned that trade from like an like all-time worst trades they gave up an insane amount for him to being a contender within one year they've completely 360 their trajectory yeah yeah and like i said i was always a defensive fan of of his and he that now they've they've figured it out uh they they really did a fantastic job did you watch did you watch sixers knicks I did. That's the uh, one where poor Embiid. I can't even watch it. Like he's so in pain. Like so in yeah. pain. It's 
it's hard to watch. I think, you know, when have I ever felt sorry for Embiid? I felt sorry for him. Like I, I truly do. He is playing he's he's limping just there. to yeah. the end where, I mean, I think they would have been better off. They're up six taking him out. They w- should have taken him out because that last rebound with Harkenstein, the last rebound, Embiid was there. He can't jump. He can't yeah. jump. They should have put someone else in for the rebound and they would have had a chance, you know, to take that game. They really There's no, would have. I, I mean, yeah, Hartenstein should just not even be an impact player with Embiid in there. And he was all over the place. I thought he was unbelievable. Yeah. He looked really yeah. good. Yeah. He's played really well. I think he's yeah. improved incredibly. I, I, I like him. I, I think he's, he's played very well. Um, another yeah. case where a team has figured out how to, and I think part of that is because um, Robinson was hurt for a while there and they really had to rely on him. And I think he stepped up. He is, he's done really well. Um, but that last, you know, Embiid was right there. He just could, he literally did not jump. He could not jump. Um, and they were talking about his rebound. He just can't move. Like it's, it's truly no. sad to people, me. But I mean, well, well, people were also, uh, a little concerned. I saw some Twitter sleuths were saying like he can't move like part of his face, his eye, yes, his eye, his eye the, like it, doesn't it blink. It's like something he's taking yeah. something like yes, a cortisone course. or something. He's he's on something and he's not right. It's the yeah. saddest. He's trying to shoot foul shots. He's trying to keep his eyes open and his eye is yes. literally closing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like something's so wrong. It's just yeah. so wrong. Um. But and and come where, back? Do they, like, where do they agreed at this point? Why did they think they need? I mean, he's not that old. <laughs> yeah. You have well, he, all these, all these pieces for next year. He's not that old. Why are you there, pushing? Though. I mean, what? 26? No, no, no. I mean, he's in his thirties. And bead. Yes. And bead is in his thirties. Is he? Am I crazy? Yes. 30. Oh. Exactly. Okay. So, okay. Maybe no, he, a couple of years ago. Okay. Getting up there, plus just his injury history. Yeah, is, I agree. You know, I don't know. How many years do you have left where he's going to be? But as a coach, and but that's as more a of a trainer, reason to just shut him down. As a coach and as a trainer, I don't know how you comfortably watch him and let no, him go through that. Agreed. Like, I, 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 you can't do it. You simply can't. And I think they're better off without him. Like, they've got mm-hmm. some other pieces. Like, why not go out Maxie there and was play really all out? Yes go out there and play with some other players that can play all out because he can't, he simply can't. And he's going to get worse and worse. I feel so bad for him. I, yeah. Well, the other thing is it's heartbreaking. So they're actually in a good position because the Tobias Harris contract is up next year, which is a disaster. I mean, he just adds nothing for them for the money he gets paid. What happened to um, him? Yeah, I don't know. He's non-existent offensively. Yeah, Literally but uh, but his contract's up next year, so they can sign like a big guy. Like there's been rumors yeah. of Paul George coming to the Sixers. He's a free agent. Yeah. Uh, they they have the kind of the but money. You're to telling attra- me even next year, even with his age, if you get him a hundred percent and healthy, he may not be the superstar that he has been, but he's still going to be an asset. So you're in a That's good. Pos- and if you can get another big guy next with Maxi, yeah. who's on his yeah. rookie deal, like. I, yeah. there's no i would shut him down right now i mean yeah i agree i think you're doing nothing but harming him more agreed and, yeah but he is i don't um, know how you watch it comfortably yeah it's it's painful that's your, i mean that series is over he can't move no agreed like agreed and Nick's I would, so I, good. they're hard working hard you know i love josh hart love yeah. whoever gave him up i love josh hart i think he plays his heart out he is great on defense he is, he's a value there, a true value. He's really Agreed. good. And then I watched, um, oh, Timberwolves, going back to Timberwolves, when Carl Anthony Towns was down. I love seeing veterans that like add and, you know, Mike Connolly Jr. saved them that game. Yeah, I'm just that's what I've say. heard. Saved them. Uh, Carl Anthony Towns had uh, three or four, three fouls, something like that. And he had to sit for a long period of time. And they were down and- he made it look so easy. He came in, he scored, he passed. He he was so good. He was just very impressive. Wait, you're telling game. me a point guard settling a team down and actually making plays uh, works? Yeah, I know. Agreed. Shocker. And you could tell he's so believe. skilled. He was so skilled. Um, and again, the team wasn't expecting it, right? 
because that's not the normal way people play and yeah, or the way they play. And so, yeah, it was, I thought it was truly impressive. He was impressive. Um, some fun games, some good close games. It, it, yeah. yeah. The West is so fun to watch. I mean, I wish I had stayed up long enough to watch the Nuggets Lakers <laughs> again. Yeah. Well, <laughs> I'm on so late. I know. Well, yeah, I'm an hour ahead of you. I'm like, I'm linking this game. I'm like 1130 start. Oh, yes, I can't. Yes, what? Yeah. Yeah, I watched crazy. I watched the first quarter of uh, Nuggets Lakers, but I, I couldn't stay up after that. I was and, and it's the buzzer beater. And you kind of can understand why they play them so closely. Both so close, both games so close. Um, they have the height to play defense against. And yeah, um, Jokic. Uh, Jokic. They do. Yeah. They have that. They have the one on one, and that's kind of how he plays too. Not a quick. You know, he's a slow easygoing kind of guy that doesn't seem to matter i mean they have their number at this point they play so many close games and the nuggets have now won 10 straight against the lakers yeah going back to last year i mean that's Jokic's genius right sure i mean that's the genius of him is that who are you going to bet on in the whole league at this point for clutch play i bet on him (laughs) either he's going to make the greatest pass ever or he's going to make the greatest shot or just set a screen to clear out the side for uh jamal (laughs) Jamal. murray who hits the game winner like yeah yeah Yeah, i would bet on him too yeah but anyway i wish i could watch those games because they they seem like really fun games to watch me too Um, and are the bucks in trouble that's the other one they're now one one he he didn't play last time either did he did Giannis play doesn't and it doesn't yeah. sound like he's playing game three. Yeah. Pascal Siakam uh, is destroying him. They have no one to guard him, who Giannis yeah. would be perfect for, which is he's another the irony one. there. I'm glad Siakam found some place to go because I like him too. I think he is a great player. Uh, so I, I hope he makes a good home. And, and um, But yeah, uh, Giannis's injury, I think, is is worse than they let on. That's the whole thing. Why? Would he play yeah. that hard at the end of the well, it's season? Also, season? It's well, like, so well, well, they had stuff to play for. Seeding. Heartbreaking. And, Still, I mean, heartbreaking. And he was yeah. on the ground that game. He was playing all out that game. All out. And I could, remember just thinking as he's falling, like, you are so going to get hurt. <laughs> like, yeah. What is wrong with you? That is not the way you play at the end of the season. Well, well um, the other concern with Giannis, I think, too, is they avoided him uh tearing his achilles which was the big concern when he first fell and it was just like a calf strain but the same thing happened to kevin durant uh when he was still with the warriors his last year with the warriors when they played the raptors in the finals he has a calf strain he's sitting out he comes back too early and ruptures his achilles in the game yeah and so that's that's the other concern you don't want to bring Giannis back and then he ruptures achilles and then you're out I mean, that's the whole next year he's yeah, gone. Yeah. So, yeah. um, and they should be able to win without Giannis. They have the depth to to be okay without Giannis. I think anyway. It's a bad matchup yeah. for them though. The six. I mean, the Indiana plays so fast offensively, yeah. and they yeah, score true. so many points. They don't really play yeah. defense, but I mean, that's yeah. a good matchup for the Bucks. They're without Giannis. They're slow. Brooke Lopez, Bobby Portis. They don't have like. The, <laughs> Yeah, yeah. They're slow. That. It's oh, a bad matchup yeah, for them. Yeah, yeah. You have Pascal yeah. Siakam coming at you. Those guys are just yeah. not athletic yeah. enough to yeah. hang. So it's a bad matchup. And now they got to go to Indiana for two games. I know I would have taken anybody but the Heat. <laughs> I know, exactly. It's like looking like, looking at the teams no. now. The, the and when hobbled, they lost the play in game, other hobbled like, teams. No, I know. Jimmy Butler, Give like, me oh. anybody. Give me anybody. Yeah. Oh. But that's what I'm we'll saying. If we get through this, I mean, I'm, yeah. I'm, not too, I, I'm not too scared of anybody. The Bucks think, still scare me the most if Giannis comes back, and they're not looking yeah. great. I think, I don't know. I like the Knicks. I, I I I mean, I don't like the Knicks. I just think the Knicks look better even without Joe's. In fact, I think they look better offensively without Julius Randle. Yeah, I agree. Like he's can, like a, I don't, He slows them down a little too much. Agreed. Agreed. There's he's a weird player. I, I and a little bit overrated. I think personally. I, agree. I don't know. I you know I think they look better offensively and move the ball better without him on the floor. But they just. Um, I mean, yeah. Who like who's guarding Porzingis and Tatum? They yes, just don't have yes. the size really. I, they, they, I agree. Like, yeah. 
Yeah. Uh, Brunson's too much of a mismatch defensively for anyone that we have. Like, yeah, yeah, he's uh, just I good. I he just creates so much space. He's, well, he hasn't even played well. He was terrible yeah. down the stretch of that game, and yeah. they still yeah. won. Yeah, that's the that's the brutal part for like you know Philly. Who looks is... Terrible or the the Suns? I just do not like. Who's their center? Nurkic is it Nurkic? Yeah, yeah Nurkic, Nurkic, whatever his name is. They need a better big guy. He's just not all that great. He just simply yeah. is not. Well, they need, you know what they need is a point guard. They don't yes. have a point guard. <laughs> they, I agree. They, there's a weird team with a lot of stars. Beal actually has moments of playing well. Booker has moments of playing well. And Duran has moments of playing well. They don't play together well at all. Like they, they, yeah. they simply don't in how they play. It's a strange team with a lot of stars on it, but they just, they're not going anywhere either. I feel bad. Like, I don't know. They just, no, they're yeah, not going anywhere. what they do. Um, and that, you know, Timberwolves, I don't know why they're so likable to me, but they just are. I think I like the way they play. I like the way they share the ball. I I, I think they just look really, really good. So I think it's going to be my, I, I bet it's, I don't know. It'll be interesting. Yeah. Yeah. I just think we need to get past the next game. <laughs> yeah. Can we just get, we need past to the win. Heat, please? We need to win the next game. We cannot cannot lose the next game we can't give them that kind of momentum nope. and that kind of confidence we can't it's a big one yeah yeah and then the problem with that is then we go into the next game nervous and wacky and we don't play good we don't play well nervous and wacky no. you know? yes. head cases we don't so we've got to play well and we've got to yeah um yeah Porzingis has to figure that out or don't put him in because <laughs> if he's the same way he was last time, I'd rather have him on the bench. Well, that's the, that, yeah, I know. Well, that was the big <laughs> thing. It was like, uh, you know, should Al Horford have closed the game? I mean, uh, well, he wasn't shooting poorly, was he? Was he okay? No, that's what I'm yeah, saying. He was two he for was, three. He was fine. One yeah. for one. It. Yeah, he was a plus eight. When he yeah, played. that's what I'm saying. That's why. Yeah. That's why the question kind of came up as I saw it on Twitter. He had it's like eight rebounds. His, mm -hmm. it, his, the high of uh, was eight rebounds in 23 minutes. He had eight rebounds, three assists. Our highest was four. Um, and he shot 66 percent, 100 at three. I mean, in Grant yeah. again, he didn't take that many that many shots, and he was a plus eight. He was our highest. So yeah, I I I don't know. There were times you have to. I, just I mean, thought, again, you have the that 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 was the worst I've I've seen Porzingis. This whole year so yeah hopefully why it's an Did you anomaly not warm up enough get him on the bike to loosen him up a little yeah. i don't know but that was yeah that was not hopefully fun. it's just an anomaly and the the epitome again was for me that play when it, when tyler hero was on him and i'm like here you go and i think he fell down <laughs> Like, I think he tripped or something. I don't know. That was like, well, for oh. me, it was, he comes back in, in the fourth quarter. It's still a close game, like six or eight points and they get it to him in the post and they, he immediately loses the ball. They kind of swat <laughs> and it's a turnover. And I'm like, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. like, yeah. and if we call a timeout one more time and come in and either have a turnover or the worst play I've ever seen, like, what are you saying in that timeout? What is your plan in that timeout? I almost feel like they're just resting. Like nobody's talking. I don't know. Because a few times they come off the, they come out of the timeout and it's a terrible play or a loss of the ball. It's like, what was discussed? You know, what was the play? Yeah. You, you, yeah. It was just not good. And, and, and again, to give credit to Spolstra, he had one of the best timeouts like I've, I've ever seen where like we score and then we kind of go to like a half, like a three quarters press. Yes. Uh, and he called and timeout. immediately yeah. timeout. Like it yeah. was, no. it, you could feel no. the momentum shift, like even a tiny bit, immediate timeout. Yeah. And, yeah. uh, well, then he did that the whole down. game as soon as the momentum started yeah. a but little it's like, bit. It's, it's, it's like before the momentum even does shift, it's a timeout. Yeah. Like you get, yeah. it doesn't even let it happen. Yeah, and he did that the first half a couple times too. You could yeah. kind of start to feel the itch, and I think they were ahead like by six or something. And it, he immediately calls them and probably gives some sage advice, like, "Oh, he's a good coach. He should be on yep. there." I mean, obviously his team didn't do it, yeah, you know, but he's an impressive dude. Very impressive. Come on, Missoula, take yeah. a page from his playbook. 
and watch and some film. sit Tatum and, and Brown down and say, it is no longer just about you boys. Now we're playing to win and as a team, right? Can't you hear that? <laughs> mm -hmm. Oh, yeah. All right. A good game. All right. Yep. That's all. Well, good. we vented our Saturday. frustrations. Saturday. Game More three. D. White. Big one. More D. White. That's what we Ball want. Ball handling. Not necessarily shots. Ball handling. Um, I'll take shots too. But... Pull, pull the Bruins. Lost one at home. Won a big game three last night on the road. Need that same energy. Energy period, yes. Energy yeah. period, yes. yes. Well, we'll be back. Um, third, what, what Saturday? Hopefully with better Six. news. Yeah. Saturday, one of the Bruins or the Celtics play earlier. I can't remember. Yeah, it's a 6 p.m. game. So maybe we do a right after pod. Maybe maybe we'll do Sunday. Maybe we'll do right after. But we'll have our game three thoughts up at some point. Hopefully more positive. But never you never know. We're going to Miami Missoula? now. Missoula, we hope you're listening. <laughs> <laughs> Um, as usual, worldwide, you can find us everywhere at Shamrock Talk Pod on Twitter at Shamrock Talk on Instagram, YouTube, Facebook, Spotify, Apple Music, Google Podcasts. We'll be here all playoffs, hopefully. Maybe, maybe not too much longer if this uh, <laughs> if this keeps up. I thought it would be thought we'd have a bit of. It a is a very nice spring, here. and the weather is good, so maybe we'll be outside a lot more. <laughs> Without something to watch. I don't know. Well, we, hopefully Step the Bruins up Celtics. Will, between the Bruins and the Celtics, hopefully we can get some kind of deep playoff run going. <laughs> no, the Celtics um, are going to do it. I believe Patriots that was a lesson tonight. It'll a be, lesson all learning kinds of stuff going on. Spanking is what that was. That was a lesson learning spanking from the old. You days. hope so. <laughs> you hope so. Um, turn it around. But we'll be back. All right. All Go right. Celtics. Go Celtics. Hey.